Greetings and today's and guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Kick Around Oven Break. In this video I'm going to be focusing on an event which I feel like I should have started the video on a few days ago, however I was just focusing on making other videos for the Pudding channel, which includes a lot of things which are on the main channel right now, which include a lot of Kingdom, uh, a lot of Oven Break, which I think is like, as I'm recording this right now, I'm probably like on a streak of recording Oven Break, this is probably going to be my, like, my fourth one, because I'm going to be honest, I'm waiting for the Kick Run Kingdom update to release, because I was going to play that, but then it got held back by an hour, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to record some more Oven Break, so then I was, it, I was prepared to play it, it's like 9 o'clock, it got pushed back by another hour, so I'm posting more Oven Break videos, so I'm determined to actually like upload at least the day of, not like immediately when the update comes out, but like in the morning, you know, when time later flies by, but like, right now I'm just focused on playing through uh, Oven Break right now, and I'm going to be focusing on the event called Milk Snack, uh, Meet Milk Snack. Or guild mission, meet milk snack, which I know there's also the treasure mastery thing, which I could focus on that, but I feel like that would take a little bit longer than it needs to be. However, basically, if you're new to these, uh, basically, it's kind of similar to the uh, new, like, well, they're not new, but it's like the meet this insert cookie here mission, where for this plumbing season, or this update, we're getting one for baguette cookie, which I'm making a video right now for, but feel like that I may get that video done, I'm not sure, sooner or later. It may even depend, maybe I can get that video done first before this one, or this video will get released first before that one. But, with that being said, this is kind of on a similar note to how those uh, playing videos work. Because last time I did this, it was about the uh, automatic typewriter, which released alongside uh, plumbing cookie, coffee, caramel, something. <laughs> coffee candy cookie, who released alongside with the automatic typewriter. And basically, how, like, basically, you know how with the uh, meet the insert cookie here videos it's all about trophy race and breakout this one is all about guild missions and some of the guild missions are actually a lot more easy than you could expect or just because you know hey they're from the guild because uh, honestly like all you really need to do is just run the specific game mode but it's even more than that and of course with how these missions work you need to get friendship points and if you get friendship points you can get rewards over to the left which is if you get 20 you get i think that's a hundred thousand coins 40 is five quick play main story tickets 60 is one of these almond milk or i mean milk snack treasures which i'm pretty sure there's also an almond milk treasure but they look pretty similar but that's why i'm messing up uh 80 is 1000 magic powder and 100 is two of the milk snack treasures so that's three in total if you get 60 and 100 but you got to do the missions all the way over on the right which of course they do also give you rewards other than the friendship points like they give you friendship points but also like you know earn 600 million points that gives you uh, 100 magic powder or 300 million points that's uh it's 50 000 coins and you can get a lot of them and you can get a daily one for free which is just playing check and bingo and that gives you an automatic 10 which is a great amount and even there's ones that you don't even have to run for for example there's like you know over down here you can just send some guild run tickets to someone if you want to do something else but you want someone else to do the work but there's also just spending guild run coins which that can give you an instant i think if i'm doing the math right that's like 24 i don't know i think it's 22 that which is very easy and it's not even like oh you spent uh, 1,000 3,500 being like 9,000 total no is it yeah that is 9,000 total no it's straight up just 5,000 because it just all adds up together so that's literally already like a lot of your work done but then a lot of the work also just comes to a running and go to run so well I'm gonna be running at least one guild run and I'm just gonna see if I can do some other stuff and see if that works to my advantage just to get a lot of the rewards there. <laughs> Welcome to my guild and of course we gotta do some- oh hey! Well I'll just get this corner for my uh, check and bingo and we get that full X and we also get the full bingo. Unfortunately I didn't get a try again, or by try again I mean uh, a little go again square, but I can get some extra coins and because of that I can also take Gander my uh... Can I not view? Oh wait, I can just click this, go to events, and I go down here to meet Milk Snack, and, and guess what? I get the everyday one, which already just boosted to 20, meaning I can already get the first reward, but I'm just going to wait on that until I can bundle up all the rewards. But of course, I'm immediately going to get a lot of points here by going to the shop and just spending a lot. I think I could just spend a lot of my coins. Literally, you can get a large portion of them done just by spending on one dress. If you haven't bought a long game yet, or like if you haven't maxed them out, you can just buy one of them, and then you'll be done with three of those missions. But with me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and purchase a, uh, let's go with a lychee. And then I'm also going to go ahead and purchase a, nope. I'm going to go ahead and purchase a uh, rainbow sugar crystal, because they are quite valuable. Because I'm pretty sure they're more important for, like, legendary magic candies and stuff like that. So I need to get a big portion of them. But just because of that, I know I did spend over 5,000, but if I go over to my events, I can get those done already. 
which uh plumbing i'm just making sure everything's stacked up but i already by the way i have already ran gill runs but like it was just off camera because like oh it was close to a gill run ending so i could just still run gill run but like just do something else but of course i got those three done which can get get me like basically 20 I think I should be in a realm of like, I don't know, maybe around 60 at this point, but I just need to run in more of these guild things. In fact, there's also give 10 ingredients, give 30 ingredients, so I may mess with the food. But if I just go over to cooking, I think, and by the way, I have an absurd amount of these ingredients, so why not? So, uh, I don't know, uh, I think these are the max. You can't anymore, oh, please, please add another type. Is, is nine all I can add? Are they already maxed out okay I'll, I'll shove that that in there i think there's i think they're kind of maxed out I, i'm not even joking i can't like i can't add any more of that i can't add any more of that not that i think there's straight there's no more i can add to the pot until like in the next one i don't think at least because right now we just have this uh, sandwich from beyond memories already selected so i'm gonna have to wait on that kind of unfortunate but, whatever, by the way, I need to go up here. There's 28 members, but I'm not going to let that sit down because I'm going to go ahead and promote it. Let's see if we can max out our members just because we need more members in this. We only have so many dedicated members. But I can also send tickets if I wanted. But uh, I think it's interesting how I can do that. Uh, if I just check with the events again, what I can go to is this. Because I'm pretty sure I can send them with, uh, without my own. I think I, I can just send them for something. I don't know. But 15... Uh, I'll just go to like, like I'll select the old ones and then select it. Apparently there's like a day left on this, so that's cool. Go to uh, one where it uh, has a valuable runner, which I think to me, as we happen to be patented Sovi on Silverstream, I can send a ticket and I can send five for the price. I could just do it for guild coins, but I can, I'll just use crystals instead. So there's five for you. Uh, is there anyone else? Yeah, I'll, I'll send you some more. Uh, there's five for you. Uh, anyone else? Oh, you. Uh, you're 20 seconds, so let's get five to you. So, there's more. And I know I spent crystals on that, but you know what? It's all for the event and being completed. So, I guess with that being said, I'm going to have to focus on one of these levels. I'm probably going to do, like, some game planning. See which level would be the best for me to run into. Get the most amount of points and also get a good amount of points. Regardless of, like, either in total or just in one single run. Because you got to focus on that in regards to getting points for that event. There's points how you can, you can get French points for either getting just amount of points in total or just for one single run. So I need to do some equations real quick. I don't think that's the correct term, but you know what I mean. So I've been looking, and I'm pretty sure I want to go through... Was it this one? You can get a lot of points, but I think I wanted to do this one over here. That's the wrong one, too. <laughs> this one over here, because I don't think I've seen this level, like, be random before, at least with my memory, because of the cookies that are being put up here to run with, it being Bellflower and also Vagabond. I definitely know I don't think I've ran this level, and also I can get a bunch of boosts with the treasures that I have equipped, and my Bellflower is at level 15, though my Vagabond is only at level 11, and the pet is at level 11. I still think we can get a solid amount of points here, and I think in comparison to the other ones, I think maybe the one with Black Garlic and Ginseng, I can get a lot of points there, guaranteed, but I feel like I have shown that one on the video before, as far as I know. Maybe I haven't, like, honestly, it's rare that I do these Guild Run videos, so... Any, everything that I like try and record for this is honestly just a blur. But I am going to have to collect a lot of vegetables for this. So I feel like it does make sense to run with Bellflower and Vagamon for this. Because, you know, kind of the relations with vegetables and stuff like that, you know. Bellflower usually collects, like, herbs and stuff to uh, make good medicinal herbs just to make you feel more healthy. And Vagabond usually likes to, like, get all the food, you know, for the big old Yakwa Harvest Festival. And then they can just eat and Vagabond is going to do uh, something that they really professionalize toward, uh, which isn't singing. No, no, no. I mean, that's one of their professionals, but it's also just sleeping. Which, honestly, that sounds like an absolute dream, where basically your three like key components of doing things is sleeping, eating, and singing. That sounds like the life of, like, Elvis. <laughs> Gotta be honest, not when I say it like that, it kind of sounds similar. But just in a Korean tradition, you know? But whatever. Look at that mouse just jumping. And apparently one mouse is just running from all the tomatoes. I mean, it looks like you're stealing the food. Why do you have any right to run from it? But I feel like this might end up, this event might end up kind of like the uh, the plumbing event with Baguette Cookie. Where I'm probably going to have to spend a lot of time off camera, like, running in guild runs. And seeing how fast I can uh, complete this event. Because also, I'm probably going to need to uh, get some points from uh, just day by day getting uh, the uh, daily... What is it called? Like the 
bingo check-in guild run thing where apparently sheesh those are awfully close you just gotta jump over them i guess yep okay of the those are like worrying jumps i have to make okay oh bonus time now but at least we did get uh nearly 300 million so far but anyways i was saying if it's kind of gonna feel like one of those uh things where like kind of like with the baguette cookie events you know meet baguette cookie I'm gonna have to run a lot off camera, which includes, you know, breakout and stuff like that. But I also probably have to do a lot of off camera, like, oh, just every day checking bingo. Cause at least they give you like an automatic 10, which I think it's the most amount of points that like one of these missions can get you straight up 10 points. And that's daily. Cause you compare that with the baguette cookie event, you can get 10 points daily, but five of those are separated by opening two gold chests in trophy race and another five separated by running two times in breakout, which doesn't seem so hard. But it just makes you feel like you have to do more work in comparison. Like, literally. You compare, like, compare the 10 points that you have to get from uh, the meat uh, baguette cookie event and the meat the uh, milk snack event. One is just, oh, I have to run in trophy race enough times where I can actually get the amount of points just so I can actually uh, open a chest. Which, also, I have to make sure that I get a good ranking just so I can get more tickets. So, I don't know, maybe at most, if I do get, like, first place, I'm probably going to have to... I, I only get, like... 10 or 9 tickets so i'm either running two or three times if i don't have any saved up but also i have to run two times a breakout and i know that seems easier but i don't know it's just part of the uh the work or you go on your guild you click a square and you're done like i'm not saying it's bad i mean hey it makes the events way easier but i'm just saying like the workload kind of seems not equal if you get what i mean <laughs> Like, it's, like, you just do way less work. I guess you do have to do... No, that doesn't even make any sense. I was going to say, oh, well, you probably do a lot more running in guild runs. But you're running in both... There's still missions where you run both trophy race and breakout anyway. Like, and you probably do a lot more work there. Just getting points in general, points in total. Uh, how many of the light spheres can you get in breakout? Like, how many gold chests you probably open and all that stuff. It seems like there's a lot more work to that than just the guild run stuff. By the way, I'm about to run out of energy, so I'm just going to do some last jumpage right there. And swap to Vagabond. See if I can do this correctly. One, two, three, four. And now we just do some silly jumpings. I do like how in the skill of Vagabond Cookie, it actually shows the uh, Cookie NPCs from the, uh, you know, the Yakko Harvest Festival story. Basically all four of them, at least all four of the uh, primary ones. That isn't like Rebel Cookie and stuff like that. Okay, that was a quite the risky jump. And hey, I like how we went from, uh, oh, you know, farm food now we're at a sandwich shop, because so, why not? Oh, jellies are disappearing on me? Fantastic. Make the pathing for me way harder. By the way, oh wait! Excuse me, what the pleb? Are you kidding me? I wasn't even expecting to get a shoe. I thought it was just going to be a platform. That's what, what, where, are they even, where are the even things that are like under me? They look, where are they? Ducks? Crabs? Donut things? I can't tell, honestly. These are burgers. Which, of course, you have plumbing burger pleb trying to stop me. Because apparently the sandwich... I made a comment about that. You know, Burger Plub trying to stop Sandwich Plub. But and by Sandwich Plub, I mean, uh, you know, Sandwich Cookie. Maybe we can actually get some sort of a lore story in the future that focuses on, you know, this Burger Plub trying to advertise their burger in front of Sandwich Cookie's shop. And then maybe we can get one of those events where it's like, uh, oh, are you Team Burger or Team Sandwich? Which, I guess it doesn't matter. But anyway, we did scrape up what 700... And, oh, okay, well, we still had energy left, but with that one run, we did get 750 million points, which is an A-plus rank. We were only just a tiny bit close to an A rank, which I feel like if I had a higher level Vagabond cookie, and I didn't mess up as bad, I could probably get that S rank easy, but that is pretty good just for a first run all around. That's nearly a billion points. That's three-fourths of a billion points. So, I'm gonna have to do a lot of running, and, oh, oh, someone else got a bingo, fantastic. I'm gonna do a lot of running, and I gotta do a lot of sharing. By sharing, I mean sharing this food. So I think in regards to everything for this guild event, everything should be accomplished. I could scroll down here to the guild mission, meet milk snack. I already have 40 points, but that's me. I didn't even do any of the main missions. I just did the daily ones, which was literally basically four times I visited the check-in bingo. Just went and clicked the square 
and then I got it, which gave me basically two-fifths of this already complete. But we can count up all this. I think I did the math correctly. I think we should have more than enough, but 300 million points in a single guild run, which is seven friendship points plus 50,000 coins. Then guild runs uh, 600 million points in a single run, another seven friendship points, plus I think that's 200, no, it's 100 magic powder, a little bit less, but whatever. Then we have 900 million points in a single run in guild runs, which that is kind of hard, but you, it is it is possible with some specific, like some specific levels and some cookies but seven friendship points and also one special uh treasure blessing ticket which is very cool or treasure enhancement whatever get one billion points in total in guild runs that is five friendship points and three bronze sugar crystals get three billion points in total that is plumbing seven friendship points and also fifty thousand coins getting you know, getting to send over 15 guild run tickets which i luckily did that is 10 friendship points and fifty thousand coins and we also have spend all we basically have this in the bag especially with the spend guild run stuff a thousand coins spending a thousand guild shop, shop coins Coins. That's a hundred magic powder and five friendship points. Three thousand guild coins spent. That's three uh, bronze sugar crystals and also seven friendship points. And last but not least, well, we'll I was still hand the rest of them. Uh, I was just throwing the five thousand guild coin shop spending thing, which is one treasure enhancement ticket and also ten of the friendship points. But I also thrown give ten ingredients to the guild kitchen, which is five friendship points and fifty thousand coins. And also give thirty ingredients to the guild kitchen, which is five more friendship points and one hundred magic powder. And now, with all that out of the way, we can get the last rewards for this event, being for 20 friendship points, you get 100,000 coins, pretty good. For 40 friendship points, you get 5 quick play tickets for the main story, which I think, pretty sure they mainly focus on this, because hey, if you want to go through the levels of the, uh, was it, what's it, save the future in main story quicker, and there you go. But then for 60 friendship points, you have one of this milk snack treasure. Which is good for upgrading, especially if you need to get a lot of them. 80 friendship points, that gives you 1,000 magic powder. And last, for certainly not least, for 100 points being the max, you get two more of those milk snack treasures. Meaning that if you got 100, but also got 60, which you have to get 60 to even get 100, then you can get three of the treasures in total. And now this event, th this whole entire event is fully complete. But if you want to, you could still participate in this event, just getting the other rewards, like, you know, the billions of points, because, hey, they still give you rewards, like this plumbing, uh, there's a treasure enhancement ticket down there there's magic powder and there's even another treasure ticket that if you want because hey free rewards is free rewards all you have to do is basically work for it i know technically saying it like that it doesn't sound like it's free but whatever and also something interesting they also released this thing which is like a special 2023 new year uh, 2023 special new year gift which i may as well receive right here because hey it's on you to keep running and gives you a special cookie chest and a uh, special pet egg which hey if they're giving that out for free then why not but anyway, with that being said, there's also this breakout mission, which is something I'll just do off camera because am I really that close? I'm not even capable of getting the uh, 300 crystals. I look over that limit. It's got to be like by barely a few points. Yeah, it's only by like a few million, but whatever. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share this video with your friends if you enjoy my quick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe and also hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I also have merchandise if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I also have a, <clears throat> I have a Discord down in the description. It's called the Hype Knees Hub and it's a fun time down there and we're trying to expand each and every single day. And last but certainly not least, there's also another link down in the description that leads to a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Cookie Run YouTube set for absolutely free. And I did say I wanted to try and complete this one, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, I just have to do this off camera because I wasn't too focused on like, you know, collecting the 50 milk snack jellies, which I might do that in trophy race practice. But above all else, I will see you and to these guardians in the next video. Hail the hype, please.